Hi everyone, today I thought I would share with you my ideas for this kite page. This is from 30 Days of Creativity by Johanna Basford and I thought it was the perfect page for using this um, cloud template. Now I have shown you how to use this before but I thought I would just show you a little bit more. It's a little bit different, a tiny bit different. So what I'm going to do is use uh, my pastels. I'll show you I've got all these colours, but I'm going to use blue for this page because I want the kites to be brightly coloured. I thought blue would be the best place to start. So I'm getting a little bit of the pastel by just rubbing it onto my um, cotton. And I'm going to pop a cloud across here like this. Now, you notice I'm going over the kites. Um, which is something that I need to uh, show you what to do with. Now, firstly, if, you, um, if you're using pen to colour in your kites, you can just colour over the top of the pastel and it won't matter. However, I'm not. I'm going to be using pencil. So I will show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to slightly slant this one. Over. I'm going to do this one a little bit lighter. That top bit's quite dark. I think we'll have more thicker cloud towards the bottom, so it's a little bit lighter here. It's the same um, shade of blue pastel, by the way. It's just um, I'm just pressing a bit more gently, and I put a little bit less onto my um, sponge or cotton. Take that up a bit though, because I've got quite a big gap in there. So take it up a bit. And a little bit at the bottom. You could go across to the other page as well with this if you wanted. Now you can make these templates yourself. Some people just cut out their own um, cloud shapes out of card, and that's perfectly acceptable. I cannot cut in a straight line, so uh, it's certainly not for me. It is something you could consider and of course you don't have to do blue sky but that was just my plan for this i'm just going to pop the lid on my pastels because i have knocked them before with my elbow and they spilt out all over the floor which was not ideal especially as i'm working in a room with carpet right the lid's on now so i'm happy okay what i want to do now is to gently erase the pastel from the places where i want to color Okay. Now, I this is a good eraser, but it's quite big. It's also really dirty, but that's beside the point. So I tend to use my um, Tombow Mono. See how small the tip is, so we can get into detail. Well, what I need to do is lean on something so that I'm not going to smudge the um, pastel. So I need a little piece of paper. I'm just going to grab one out of my notebook. I always keep a little notebook beside me to uh, note down what I've been doing in my video so I can put more in the description for you. I'm just going to fold that in half. So it's just a piece of uh, rough notebook paper. It's going to start here and just start erasing inside that kite shape. Now for my... Um, now that tail is really intricate and all of it is covered in blue. So I'm not going to erase it, I'm actually going to colour it in, in a colour that will work with the blue. Make sure that when you're using these erasers that you pop out enough of the eraser each time. If you don't have enough um, popped out of, the, uh, out of the end, you can scratch your paper with the metal piece that the eraser is coming out from. So you do need to be a little aware of that and a little careful. So we're just erasing. Pastel erases very, very easily. Even after applying fixative, I've sometimes managed to erase it, so which is good. I'm not going to do too many, but I'll just do this top row and then uh, show you my plan for the kites. Now, because I am not, um, I don't find doodling fun. I'm not going to doodle patterns onto my kites. I'm just going to grab my um, 
makeup brush and just sweep away. I'm actually going to sweep the whole page because it's probably loose pastel on here as well. Okay, so I'm not going to doodle on any of the kites. So I'm just going to show you with one of them what my plan was. I'm going to show you on this larger one because um, it's... Just, I'll show you. Hang on, let's just zoom in and you can see. So the larger one has these pieces across which can be coloured in. This small one doesn't. It, that's just one drawing whereas this has got a space in so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that um, I'm just going to grab some pencils to my left I have a pile of pencils I'm just grabbing my black widow because I want quite a sharp a good sharp end on my this one so for the slatted part when I was young I'm sure they were wooden but I'm going to do it as metal so I'm going to do it in a grey this is the um, spider web colour you can use any grey so again lean on your piece of paper and what I'm doing is I'm just going to colour it a little bit darker at the end here and then lighter towards this centre and darker there and I'm going to try and make a little shine in the middle it's quite a small area and actually the spider web is a little bit brownie in colour rather than silvery but it's okay and that's how I'm going to do that bit it's quite pity it's just put that away and then for the actual kite itself I am just going to do the whole kite in one colour um, let's just grab one to show you this is some um, plum pudding um, I just randomly grabbed it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge of the each section quite hard so lay down quite a few layers here and then reduce them towards the center and make it sort of lighter in the middle make sure you get a, a nice transition of color so it doesn't go dark light so it just slowly fades the middle if it's not light enough in the middle you can use some white pencil to lighten it more but for me that's fine I think I'll do actually the opposite corner this color too gosh I've got that um, <laughs> Mary Poppins song going round and round in my head let's go fly a kite and now I've given past the earworm on to you too I'm sure so I'm sorry about that. It's quite a nice song. It was actually, um, um, Mary Poppins was on the TV the other day and I was watching the end of it because actually I was wanting to watch the programme that was on after. Anyone in the UK may have um, seen it too. It was um, Strictly Come Dancing, which if you're in America, it's our equivalent of Dancing with the Stars. And it was a musicals week, so they showed a musical before it and it was Mary Poppins. I was just had the end of it on. I wasn't actually sitting in front of the TV. I was seeing colouring actually at my desk. But I was listening to the um, songs. So for the other two corners, I'm going to do a contrasting colour. Um, and I'm going to do the um, very pretty amethyst colour. Now the leaves on these pages, because it's um, very windy it feels like it's sort of autumnal as if they want to be autumn colors but i'm actually going to do them green because i feel like it they'll go better with the blue sky somehow i just feel the colors will work nicely together i don't know you may totally disagree and decide to do them pretty oranges and browns but in for me i feel like the greens are just going to work with with all my ideas really for the page so I'm trying to get a smoothish transition it's quite tricky um, if you used um, I might switch brands of pencil um, for the other kites you don't have to stick to one brand per picture and you can even blend brands together most well all brands that I've tried mixing together always work well even something that's wax and oil together I I'm not I don't really know the difference between wax and oil and I remember talking to someone about it who was a Derwent um, she 
they gave her, she was an artist, a pencil, colour pencil artist, and she was sort of a Derwent promoter almost. They would give her free pencils. She said that having done the Derwent factory tour several times and talked to the people there, all colour pencils are a mix of wax and oil. And so you can't just say, is it wax or is it oil? Because it's a mix, but some are just more than others. With a tail, I'm going to do two of these colour and two of this colour. So I'm just going to do that while I talk to you. I'm going to make it quite a solid colour just because I want it to really be really bright. Um, but So I struggle to, to really know which is which and what the main differences are. However, I know that Poly and Prismas are polar opposites with regards to wax and oil. And yet I can manage to blend them together absolutely fine. And um, when I do Chris Cheng tutorials, which I'm sure I'm just going to sharpen you a bit blunt here. Um, I'm sure many of you have. She always uses Prismas, which I am, um, I don't have many of. So I use what I've got and then I have to, I use polys. So, um, and I find it works perfectly well. So that is that one. I'm going to, I'm going to sort of alternate them so I can work out what the best colours to use are. So I want it to look random but mixed up, if that makes any sense. Um, so I managed to blend them together well, so I don't think it really matters um, which is which, whether you're using wax or oil. I just find brands mixed together. I've never had any trouble with that. Um, I think I'm going to do that one in this pink. I don't know why. Now you could do all the kites, the same colours as each other, to make a sort of consistent colour palette across the whole page. But I think I'm going to mix it up a bit, do them different colours. I'm going massively out of the lines, I'm afraid, but hey ho. And then I'm going to go back to my purple to finish off this one. Now we've got that little middle bit to do. This bit. I was thinking that I might do a mix of the two colours. So I'm going to do the dark purple at the bottom here. So these are the Black Widow set with the spider on the front. I don't have any of the other sets. I do like them. It's not that I haven't, and the plum pudding at the top here. It's not that I haven't got any more because I don't like them. I've just got lots of pencils and uh, I'm just enjoying what I've got. And uh, people send them me from time to time and I'm hugely grateful and it's lovely fun. But uh, okay, let's sweep away all that debris. And there is our kite. And as I say, I'm going to do all my leaves green. Um, I shall probably do all the leaves the same colour green, just for ease and consistency. And as I say, I shall mix up the kite colours a little bit. So on this one, for example, where I've got a tail, we would do two colours here, um, one colour here, one colour here, and then alternate down the tail, that sort of thing. And uh, just do it like that. If you do want to doodle on your kite and do um, things like Johanna has done over here, absolutely go for it but you can still do a similar type colour thing or a cloudy thing with it if that's what you want to do so uh, hopefully that's sort of given you a few ideas anyway so you can try something a little bit different or a bit more fun or, uh, or just go with your own thing so thank you very much for watching again it's not hugely long today a bit push for time at the moment because i've got christmas coming it's all such a busy time of year for me doing lots of things but I still want to uh, I still want to show you videos and I want to do my 10 minutes of uh, creativity as well so I can share it with you. So thank you so much for watching and happy colouring.